Hydrogen provides a cleaner burn, and by providing a cleaner burn, you're providing a, a cleaner atmosphere. In the case of Fortune 500 giant Pepsi, we retrofitted a fleet of over 200 transport trucks with our patented hydrogen technology. These hydrogen ejected trucks operated two shifts per day, 200,000 miles per year. Pepsi achieved an average of 15% fuel savings. That's huge. That's over 800,000 gallons saved, and based on today's prices, represents over $3.3 million saved in one year. So based on that success alone with Pepsi, we're now more confident than ever before. If somebody said they could save you more than 20% on fuel, triple the life of your engine oil, and cut your emissions by 80%, would you believe them? Well, a local trucking company did, and now they are spreading the word that it actually works. What they're calling a breakthrough in hydrogen technology in our Tech Fence Report. With 250 semis on the road across the East Coast to as far west as Denver, Walker-based equity transportation is considered a major. Clients like Steel Kicks, Hayward, and Meyer. So it's probably no surprise that somebody's always trying to sell them something, claiming it'll save some fuel. Do we like to call them snake oil salesmen? They almost never work. But then came Jim. And all we're doing is adding enough hydrogen to burn that dollars worth of diesel that you just bought. Instead of 87 cents or 86 cents, you're burning 99 and a half, 99.9 .9 cents. They started with 10 test units, bolted onto existing trucks in their fleet, some with high mileage. When we put this thing on, the thing just took off and started running, and we, I couldn't believe the, the, the result. The results, they say, were confirmed independently with dyno tests at the local W.W. W. Williams Service Center and emissions tests at Iowa State. Fuel mileage went from the low sixes to the high eights. Emissions cut by 80 percent, meeting those stricter standards for the year 2014, and the life expectancy of their motor oil tripled. How does it work? What it is, we have a 1.8 liter bottle of water here. The water goes through the reactor. It separates the hydrogen and the oxygen in gas form, pipes it in down the, the gas hose into the intake manifold. It's like a nitrous system on a race car, adding a wisp of hydrogen that helps burn every bit of fuel in the combustion cycle. Now that's important for the guys that are riding in the cab because right now trucking's only got a margin of about five or six percent. When you can burn the entire contents of that fuel tank right there, instead of pouring it out the smokestack, you can save up to 30 percent. Using basic chemistry in an attempt to beat high fuel prices. Hydro Motion says its hydrogen generator helps burn every last drop of gas or diesel that you put in your tank. CBS 47's Tony Body shows us a local trucking company that's giving the product a shot. It's a hydrogen generator, and it gets its charge from regular old mineral water. It's going to stick here. It's holding about 16 right now. The way it works is pretty simple. It creates hydrogen from water by separating it with electrolysis. In other words, it takes the H out of H2O. The hydrogen combines with diesel to completely burn every ounce of fuel in the system. People are leery of alternatives like this because they believe you're burning water. You're not. You're burning the components of water, elemental forms of hydrogen and oxygen. And Mark Roberts of Hydromotion says maintenance is a breeze. The only thing that you have to worry about is when the light on the inside goes out, you need to put more water in the blue tank. If it saves me 15%, that's 7,300 bucks. I'll, I'll save 7,300 bucks per, per tank of diesel any day of the week. Dandulia has 25 trucks, which average 7 miles a gallon. This unit is designed to improve his mileage by 20 to 40 percent and reduce emissions. If I can get 8 miles per gallon, I'm a happy camper. Like I said, if I can get 15 percent, I'll put them on everything. It could take Jim three months before he sees any change in his fuel mileage. That's because the hydrogen generator needs that much time in order to clean out all of the carbon buildup that's accumulated inside the truck's engine. And Fresno talks. Scientist says he can help truck companies save thousands of dollars each year, and that's just for one truck. Today he was in northeast Wisconsin. And as Matt Smith reports, the region is a big part in the worldwide product. At a time when $4 a gallon for diesel seems like a dream, one New York scientist says he's found a way to help ease the pain. And if he wants to, you know, fill it up to the fill line, he just flips the valve and you can see it going in. And then close the valve. Today, Fran Jura was in northeast Wisconsin, demonstrating to truckers how his hydrogen boost system works. 
It started on cars and is now being installed in diesel trucks like this. Dura says test results show an increase in mileage from 5 to 15 percent and a decrease in greenhouse gas emissions from 5 to 30 percent. Total cost savings, the company reports, anywhere from five to $15,000 per truck per year. And that's if gas prices stay constant. There's all around a, a savings of, of more than just fuel economy. So why is Jura in the rural town of Wayside, Wisconsin? Well, to get the systems installed in diesel trucks, one must come here to Mertz Auto. Once you got a plan figured out and making sure it's all going to fit and work, uh, then it's a matter of just putting it out. Good morning, my name is Gavin Knox, Managing Director of Knox Scientific Hydrogen Fuel Cells in Perth, Western Australia. Here we have a Kenworth 16 litre truck, diesel truck, powered by twin generation 15 systems. As we can see in the back there, we've got two tanks mounted. These two tanks are holding 20 litres of water, or 20 litres of solution, powered by our uh, 24 volt system. Then we have two systems, two cells located in the tray underneath the, uh, the step of the truck. These units are working very, very efficiently right now. The pumping system is working very well. The gas from this is then is bubbled from this back to the recycling container, as we can see up here. There's a recycling container. I'll zoom in on this. As you can see, the recycling container is producing, for well, the bubbler, the bubbler is producing lots of gas, or is showing lots of gas being collected. That gas is then directed through to the intake manifold of the engine. Again, this is a Kenworth, Kenworth truck. It's got a, I think it's a 16 litre engine, not 15 litre, 16 litre diesel engine under the bonnet. And running two generation 20 systems to power. For your diesel truck, and I'm going to let Dave and the inventors Take it from there, David. Thanks, good buddy. morning. Well, you know, this is called hydrogen power systems, and we've got my good uh, buddy in, in the house. How are you doing this morning? Good morning. Tell us a little bit about what we have here, and what was your whole premise on doing this for the trucking industry? The whole idea was to reduce fuel consumption and give the engines a little bit more power so that they can reduce their fuel costs. And basically what we do is we simply add water to this system, and it creates a hydrogen vapor, which we inject into the system on the truck. And the only place where we make a change to the truck is a little pipe right into the air cleaner. Mm. So it meets all That's emissions, it. even though this truck doesn't you know, have to get smogged. But if you were to put this on a small vehicle, it, it doesn't tamper with any of your California emission laws. None whatsoever. This is approved for sale in California on all light, heavy-duty, and medium diesel trucks on the road. What's the benefit to the truck owner? The truck owner here, they can save about $10,000 per year on fuel if they're running about 100,000 miles per year. Which wow. is nothing That's for a, a truckie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's show this. Uh... Incorporated. 
We're here today with AVing.net in Las Vegas at the World Renewable Energy Conference. In front of you sits our patent-pending Jetstar product. It is a product that creates hydrogen on demand. In doing so, we take distilled water through the intake manifold in a dry gas state by splitting the hydrogen and oxygen atoms away from each other. The benefits are a reduction in fuel consumption, a reduction in emissions, an increase in horsepower and torque, and a reduction in your overall maintenance. We are going to display how to change the fuel source behind the product's benefits. Our two liter bottle, which David Sikama, a consultant for dynamic fuels in the state of California, is changing at the moment, takes a two liter bottle and inserts that by screwing it into the Jetstar, in which will operate the vehicle between 2,500 and 4,000 miles in use. We have now moved to the inside of the cab of the passenger vehicle, where we sit once again with David Sikama to instruct how our in-cab monitor works for the driver. Yeah, while we're driving, we can check the operation of the system by looking at the display screen, seeing that the Jetstar is indeed running, and if there is an error code, it tells us the error code and what to do to fix it. Hi, we've now moved to the front of the passenger vehicle that we've installed the Jetstar on. Two clear devices that we're going to draw attention to are the red box that specifically allows for the pressure not to accumulate while the vehicle is off. It only operates while the vehicle is on. Second, the hydrogen is being induced in through the intake manifold of any combustion engine through this chamber. Now this is a passenger vehicle setup where we've seen similar styles of injection through the over-the-road truck environment as well as stationary generators, marine, and more importantly, locomotive applications. The benefits to the product have yielded a better than 10% fuel consumption savings, a significant reductions in emissions for clean air, and more importantly, the maintenance cycle has been reduced significantly while still seeing an increase in horsepower and torque. This now concludes our basic orientation behind our Jetstar technology here at the World Renewable Energy Conference. We'd like to thank you, aving.net, for having us here today. And more importantly, we welcome an opportunity to bring our Jetstar technology to you tomorrow.